Hi everyone, uh, my name is Hiteshi and uh, the piece that I'm going to perform today um, talks about privilege and as you know, her cheese ghar se shuru hoti hai. So, privilege also starts at home and we take that forward ahead when we step out and this piece is an attempt to throw light on that. It's titled, I guess we are all responsible for our own selves. If you resonate, please snap. My house is a beautiful place. A beautiful place to observe and exist. I start my day off by waking up to my mom, cooking for me at 6 in the morning. I walk up to her, give her, give her a hug. She says, Beta, aaj tumhari pasand ka banaya hai, zaroor kha ke aana. Nobody wakes up to help mom, including me. So, I guess we're all responsible for our own selves in different ways. I hate watching her cook alone. I hate it. But I have been taught that if the other two feminine hands are occupied, male hands should not help because khane mein swad ke se aega. So what I do is, I pick my bag up to go sit in a classroom and talk about how women have been suppressed over ages and the need to speak up. I guess I am being responsible in my own way. So, I guess we're all responsible for our own selves in different ways. I leave a note for my dad saying, Good day at work, Appa. He never writes back, but I hope that he read it. He read it, right? I know that I will sit in my classroom and think about a text from him saying, Good day to you too, but I know that that will never happen. So, I guess we're all responsible for our own selves in different ways. Metro rides have been full of discourses. For today, it was four men in their 20s discussing how ortho ka must hai. Seat bhi mil gaya aur coach bhi. And I stand in the corner, mind you, with my uterus screaming blood out. I wanted to scream like Rachel Green. No uterus, no opinion. And even after all this, I knew how important my silence was. I sat in my classroom and thought about how I don't want people to help mom in the house, how I want them to take charge, how I want to look into my dad's eyes and tell him that I expect a response from him whenever I write to him. To all those four men in their 20s, congratulations on carrying the privileged legacy until the end. After all of this, what I do is sit in the corner and choose not to say nothing. I choose not to say nothing and I guess that way we are all responsible for our own selves in different ways. I guess that is how it has always been or how we have made it. Thank you.